Hi everyone, this is Samsung Fanboy Reviews and I'm here to show you a few tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your new Galaxy S23 Ultra. Today we'll be reviewing the display settings and find out how to customize the screen of your S23 Ultra. So go into your settings app, scroll down to display and the first thing that you will see is that you have the light versus the dark theme. Some people prefer the dark theme or the dark mode. I usually prefer the light theme. Uh, however, the dark mode has been shown to actually save you on battery. So if you like to have your battery life extended, you can leave it on the dark mode. So that's up to you. Uh, a few cool things is that once you go inside the dark mode, you can actually customize it as well. So you can turn on a scheduled, choose a specific time. You, you can do sunset and sunrise which we use your location to actually determine when the sun rises and the sun sets in the given location or city that you live in. So just a few things to keep in mind. Next, we have the brightness. You can increase or decrease the level of your brightness in the display of your settings, or you can pull up your notification panel and you can increase and decrease it there as well. So, and then we have the adaptive brightness when you turn this thing on depending on how much light is shining on your on the screen of your phone your brightness will be adjusted that way uh, i usually don't like that i like to go up and down or increase the brightness myself so i usually leave that off extra brightness actually increases your brightness so if you're outside outdoors and you want to see your phone screen much more clearly you can turn that on and you will get more brightness Next, we have the motion smoothness. This is basically your screen's refresh rate, how quickly or smoothly the screen actually uh, adapts or adjusts to certain things that you're doing, whether you're watching a movie, whether you're scrolling through web pages, or you are shifting between apps. So, how responsive the screen is. So, that is the refresh rate. So, we have the adaptive, which is uh, which can go all the way up to 120 hertz and it can go as low as 20 to 24 hertz depending on the phone that you have having the s23 ultra it can go as low as 24 hertz i believe uh, the standard all goes all the way up to 60 hertz so you paid for the phone you spend over a thousand dollars on it and it has 5000 milliamp battery in it it can definitely take that adaptive display so put it on the adaptive and leave it on there your phone can handle it then moving on we have the eye comfort shield that's basically your blue light filter uh, you can turn it on again you can customize it um, you can even do the sunset and sunrise uh, you can do a whole lot of things with it uh, you can go through the color temperature too and you can even go through the enhanced comfort so uh, i usually turn it on at night when i want to use my phone in bed or use it somewhere that i don't want to have the screen being bright and then we have the screen mode uh, for the screen mode you can choose between vivid and natural i usually like keeping my own vivid and i like keeping the white balance in the middle uh, so there's a few things for you to play around when you go into the advanced settings you can play with the red green and blue light and then you can do a whole lot with that too uh, outside of that we have the phone size and style uh, you can do bold fonts and every single 10 will be bold or you can leave it off uh, you can make the phone size bigger or you can make it smaller some people prefer that and the font style um, it comes with the defaults I usually don't like that so I go in there and I download some and all of these ones I downloaded all of them and I just like to play around with it and have it um, in a different font style that I like or I prefer so you can do that too some of them are free some of them you have to uh, pay for it to download it I usually just search for the free ones and I download those and then next we have the screen zoom for the screen zoom it's pretty self-explanatory zooming in and out uh, so now we have the big one one of the big ones at least in the display settings the screen resolution when you get your s23 ultra out of the box it's usually on full hd plus so 
that's out of the box to save you battery and all of that but again as i said this phone comes with a 5000 milliamp battery that's an all day phone an all day battery right there so switch it up to wqhd plus wide quad high definition i believe and that gives you gorgeous display as you can see and your phone can actually take it it drains more battery but you get a full day's battery out of this one so you're good and then the full screen apps so any app that you have pre-installed or downloaded from the play store google play store that has the ability to use full screen you can enable them here next we have the camera cutout I'm not a big fan of the camera cutout, but we need a front facing camera, so it's fine. You have the, you have two options. You can show the camera cutout or hide the camera cutout. Most of the apps that you have on your phone uh, have it on auto. So you can either go in and change it from hiding the camera or showing the camera. Now we have the screen timeout. Uh, you can go in there and choose whichever time that you want. We can set it up from 15 seconds all the way up to 10 minutes. I actually do remember days that we used to have unlimited and you can have the screen on for an unlimited time that you wanted and so you turn it off but you don't have that anymore because of the oled screens that they make these samsung phones with if you leave it on for too long you can have oled screen burn in so that's the reason why they don't have that those options anymore then we have easy mode so turning on easy mode just makes the apps and everything that you have on your phone easily accessible uh, as an example when i hit easy mode everything becomes bigger so you can turn it back off again these are for individuals that just want to have everything being big so let's say you have someone who has eyesight problems they can have that easy mode on and it's just easy for them to see apps and to navigate everything on the screen and then we have the edge panel as you can see i have my edge uh, slider as a yellow big icon uh, you can navigate them you can turn it on and off here and you can do a few other tricks in there and then the navigation bar so as you can see i have the bottom ordered with the back key on the right you can choose in between whichever way you want it or you can even do gestures if you want and then uh, when it comes out of the box your phone already has the accidental touch protection on so let's say you put your phone in your pocket or it's in a bag so that when the screen turns on as a result of uh, being sent a not notification since it recognizes that it protects the screen from any damage or anything like that during the winter time if you live in countries where you have to put on gloves or anything like that uh, or even if you have on a screen protector uh, you can turn on touch sensitivity and it will make your screen extra sensitive to your touch let's say you have gloves on or something like that and then showing charging information will just shows whether your phone is being charged when you have your screen off and you have the always on display as well and then screen saver is actually something i personally like uh, it's not the same as your screen saver on the phone itself but when you are charging your phone or you have your phone plugged in and it's idle and you choose any of these colors or even a photo or an album on your phone on the screen of the phone that is charging and it's idle it will show different colors or different pictures based on your option or you can leave it on none so that's what the screen saver actually is so that is it uh, these are some of the tens that can be found on the s23 authorized display uh, there's a whole bunch of other features that goes into the display as you can see you can go into the side key, language, visibility, always on display. Uh, all of these things are further customizations that you can do. But for the purposes of this video, I was just going over a few of the features and the tips and the tricks that you can use to further customize your screen of the new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching. Stay warmed.